the M-Byte four-seater SUV by the young Byton startup is all about practicality and utility. Even a more powerful option with all-wheel drive and 470 ponies at disposal is not meant for racing and features passive suspension with main focus on ride smoothness and comfort, instead of performance. The M-Byte's futuristic interior houses an enormous 48-inch infotainment display that is controlled with either a steering wheel screen or console touchpad. The front seats rotate inward for cozier conversations, while the second row has its own set of tablets to entertain the passengers in the rear. The seven-seater Rivian R1S is the second prototype by the young American automaker, but it already aims high. The upcoming vehicle will compete with Tesla Model X, which is the only true three-row all-electric SUV currently available. Externally, the R1S resembles a rugged blend of a Land Rover and a Jeep Commander with a front fascia that you have hardly ever seen. As its truck sibling, the SUV boasts of distinctive stadium headlights with the DRL stripe across the whole bow. With the maximum available 180 kilowatt hour battery, the R1S is claimed to cover up to 400 miles. Having separate motors in each wheel results in the combined output of 710 horsepower and 829 pound-feet of torque. The Chinese NIO is a next-generation car manufacturer that targets premium EV segment. The company's biggest model, ES8, features an elegant clean exterior design and all-aluminum body and chassis. On the inside, three rows of seats are finished with Nappa leather. The ES8's powertrain consists of the dual 240-kilowatt electric motor sending power to all four wheels and a battery package of up to 84 kilowatt hours. The latter gives the EV a maximum range of 260 miles per charge. But the real game changer is the fact that the battery is actually swappable, making charging even faster than filling up the tank. The first fully electric car by the German automaker is a spacious five-seater premium SUV with two electric motors and the latest Audi technology, such as a brand new recuperation system that recovers up to 30% of the 204 miles of range. Externally, the Audi e-tron takes a lot from the Audi Q8 crossover, including the same platform and a massive honeycomb grille. Dual motors set on each axle produce the combined output of 408 horsepower and 490 pound-feet of torque. However, such output can only be delivered only for 8 seconds in sport mode. Most of the time, the return is a bit more modest, 360 ponies and 414 pound-feet.
The EQC400 is the first born of Mercedes EQ subbrand and is based on the modernized platform inherited from the compact GLC class crossover. At the same time, the electric SUV is noticeably larger than a crossover with traditional internal combustion engine, has an original exterior design, and a luxury interior made in the best traditions of the German company. You'll recognize the center console with a large flip-up panel in the middle and a sleek dashboard headlined by MBUX multimedia system comprising of two 10.25-inch screens. The EQC is equipped with two electric motors, one at each axle, and an 80 kilowatt hour battery. The power unit produces impressive 408 horsepower and 564 pound-feet of torque. The classification of automobiles is about to be expanded by another category labeled as supercar-inspired electric SUV. This is exactly how creators from Human Horizons are describing their six-seater newcomer. The Chinese startup plans to start production in 2021 and makes a huge bet on the high-tech autonomy and connectivity of the vehicle. As stated, this EV is supposed to have the world's first 5G-ready vehicle-to-X communication system. Plus, its 562 sensors, in theory, can provide level 4 autonomous driving. The onboard AI makes sure that every passenger has personalized riding experience. And the front panel is a combination of touchscreen displays, which total to 50 inches. The QX Inspiration concept serves as a sneak peek at the all-electric future of Infiniti. Designed for four passengers with Japanese heritage in mind, the model has modern exterior styling with elements like cameras instead of side mirrors and welcoming coach doors. The interior of QX Inspiration houses swiveling sporty front seats, comfortable rear bench, which looks more like a couch, and a dashboard made entirely of high-resolution screens. Performance-wise, not many details are given, except the promise of a potent powertrain featuring dual motors and an intelligent all-wheel drive. The SUV is also expected to have all kinds of driver assistance and autonomous driving tech. This SUV is the most recognizable electric family hauler of today. After Tesla's recent lineup adjustments, the Model X is sold in two configurations, long range and performance. The former's advantage is the most impressive for this segment range of 325 miles, while the latter demonstrates true supercar performance with 2.7 seconds 0 to 60 acceleration and 163 miles per hour top speed. This Tesla has standard all-wheel drive 
a minimalistic dashboard with a gigantic infotainment system, 20 or 22 inch wheels, and an autopilot with optional full self-driving capability. The last but not least are well-known Falcon Wings rear doors, seven seater layout and possible level three charging capability in the nearest future. Though it is a China state-owned enterprise, the GAC concept was designed and constructed in by the North American Design Center located in California. This EV is a conceptual study of a futuristic seven-seater that will combine features of the crossover and a minivan as the ultimate road trip car. The seating layout is rather peculiar with three plus two plus two configuration and the entire interior of the vehicle is made of environmentally sustainable materials such as cork. The vehicle will be smart connected, featuring two side-mounted OLED displays, artificial intelligence voice assistant, and judging by the modern standards, should have around 370 miles of range. <laughs> 